What's up guys? Welcome back to Healthy Recipe. We're going to be making a delicious vegetable soup today. We're going to be using some barley to thicken it up a bit, make it even more flavorful and hearty. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So let's get right to work. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. So every time we upload a new video, you get notified for brand new healthy recipes. All right, so let's go over the ingredients that we're using for this soup. I have here about two cups of diced tomatoes, one large diced red onion, about eight cloves of minced fresh garlic, one diced plantain, and I just cut it down the middle and then cut it into small quarters like this. And if you guys don't know what plantains are, they're kind of like in the banana family, but they're more savory, less sweet, and uh, more starchy. They're really, really delicious, and they have a lot of great nutrients. They'll thicken up soups and broths, and um, there's many ways of eating them, but they're really, really good. Um, here I have two cups of organic carrots and I really love these carrots these are from Whole Foods and um, they have so many different colors um, and I love using different colorful foods for my recipes I have one potato that I diced into pieces about three cups of shredded kale one cup of organic barley, about two tablespoons of minced parsley, liquid smoke, about one teaspoon, olive oil I'll be using to saute the aromatics in the beginning, chili powder, organic, and this is just uh, powder from chilies not to be confused with chili powder the spice that is a blend of different spices used for chili so this is just basically heat it has nothing else in it cumin well probably about one tablespoon I'm using actually about half a tablespoon of cumin harissa seasoning and this is a North African seasoning that has paprika cumin uh, I believe it has cardamom also in it, maybe, uh, crushed red chili, caraway, um, cayenne, coriander, uh, garlic, peppermint, and sea salt. Really, really delicious seasoning. If you guys cannot find it, um, I have it on our website, uh, healthyrecipe.store. We have a bunch of organic spices that you can have delivered to your house. Uh, basically for five bucks unlimited how much stuff you have shipped this is a flat rate anywhere in the United States and it's a two to five day uh, shipping time so you get it really really fast so if you guys are interested in any of these products or ingredients even the barley I believe I have organic barley on there all the different grains that I use you can order them for from the website I'll provide the link below we have some really, really great ingredients. Everything's organic and also some really cool uh, gadgets and kitchen equipment. So basically that's everything we're gonna be using in this recipe. And the well, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with sauteing the aromatics and then we're gonna toast this barley before um, adding our water. I'm using water, I don't have any vegetable stock uh, on hand, but you guys can definitely use vegetable stock. Um, I'm just using about eight to ten cups of water, depending on what it takes. Um, you know, as this cooks, it's gonna it's gonna draw down the water as the barley expands and all that. But probably eight to ten cups of water. So let's go over to our cooking pot and get started. All right. So with our pot at 275 degrees Fahrenheit or medium, we're gonna add in about one tablespoon of extra virgin organic olive oil. Put that heat up. Now we're going to go in with our onions. I just 
just want to sweat these a little bit, soften up. And as they sweat and they combine with that olive oil, they're going to release their own oils into the pot and give off that beautiful aromatic flavor and smell. So now I'm going to go in with the garlic. combination of those two with olive oil is enough to make anybody hungry so I always tell you guys use fresh garlic don't use the stuff that's powder because it's not even close it's not even on the same realm as far as flavor it just tastes so much better when it's fresh all right so now to this mixture we're going to go ahead and add the barley and the barley is also now going to toast on the outside it's going to develop its own nutty flavor and it's going to absorb some of that sauteed garlic and onion barley is like a blank canvas you know it's got a nice texture it's got a underlying nutty flavor to it but now when you toast it like this it's going to take on even more flavor. You do this with rice. I mean, that's a really good trick to use when you're making rice. You toast it first and then you add the water. It makes it so much more flavorful. With any grain, it's a really good technique. All right, so now... Stir the barley up a little bit and it's got a nice aroma it's starting to brown All right now to this mixture we're gonna add the tomatoes and the tomatoes are gonna break down in here and create like a sauce just part of the base of the soup and these tomatoes are actually um, also for my garden, which is great. So I'm going to let the tomatoes stew in here a little bit. Kind of like break down. All right guys, so now we're gonna add in our potatoes and carrots. We're gonna add in our plantains. Add up. Our kale. Add in our water. That was about eight cups of water. I'm gonna mix it really, really well. Get up all those bits from the bottom of the pot that have got all that flavor built up. Look at all that color, guys. See that? That's the way your food should look like. Lots and lots of color. Those are polyphenols and phytochemicals that naturally occur in the plants that we ingest and then we absorb into our cells. And they make us super healthy and strong. So always look for colorful food least process as possible. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of this chili powder in here. About a half a teaspoon or so. About a teaspoon or so of cumin. A couple of squirts of liquid smoke. 
Probably about a teaspoon in there too. And about a tablespoon of harissa. If you don't have harissa seasoning, you can simply substitute for some smoked paprika. That would be also really, really delicious. I'm gonna give all of this a nice stir. And it's already starting to smell amazing. What I expect out of this is a nice hearty, chunky soup with some smoky notes and some really, really nice warming flavors. So that's what I'm working on here. And of course, super nutritiously dense. Um, so now we're just gonna go ahead and put a lid on it and cook it until the barley expands. Then we'll come back and probably add a little bit more water to it because as the barley expands and it absorbs, um, it, it becomes bigger and it absorbs a lot of that water. So what we'll do is we'll probably add a little bit more water and then let it go for another few minutes. And then at the end, we'll add our fresh parsley and go ahead and serve it. All right, guys. So this is pretty much done. i shut it off to show you guys. A beautiful this chunky soup looks the potatoes are soft the barley soften up all the veggies are nice and soft now everything's mixed nicely all the flavors are married together now I'm gonna go ahead and serve this in a bowl and give it a taste before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and add the parsley and the reason why I add the parsley in the end is because I want that freshness. I don't want to cook it in with the rest of the ingredients. I want that nice fresh flavor that the parsley is going to add to the finishing of the recipe. Alright guys, so just wanted to bring you in and show you this final piece of beautiful chunky soup loaded with great nutrition vegetables phytonutrients all those good things that keep us healthy i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe remember to subscribe if you haven't already give us a thumbs up if you liked it and i'll see you really soon on the next one all right, so I'm going to dig right into this amazing smelling soup, which is piping hot, but I cannot wait. Wow. Wow, you just can't beat fresh parsley. Plus the first thing I get is the freshness of that green parsley. Then I get the warming uh, taste of the cumin, the harissa, a little bit of heat, spice from the from the um, the chilies. Mmm. Wow. The barley has a nice texture. The carrots are super flavorful and sweet. And the plantains add a nice chunkiness to it too, like a meaty factor. Mmm. It's an amazing, amazing soup.